Hey everybody. Yeah, I know I'm right back. Um, I really wish I could see my hair because my hair is the shit today. Y'all hear me? Alright, so anyway, we're gonna talk about lessons we can learn from animals, children. That thing's so funny to me when people say children's and trying to purse their lips together and sound so educated. Children's. Anyway. Mom and I were watching National Geographic like we do. And we had, you know, when we have those moments, we sit there and watch TV together and pick apart a show and, and talk about how the people can't act or or how, you know, look, they got shot, but now you don't see the blood. So you saw the blood the first time, now you don't see the blood. Now they just landed and her hair wasn't like that. A bang was on the other side. Okay, my mom and I sit together and we do a commentary on the show that we're watching, which is really just picking it apart. And it's so funny. We might have to do that, do a commentary on a, on a, sit, on a uh, sitcom or something, tear it apart for y'all. Anyway, so we're watching about the freshwater, I think it's a freshwater mussel. And the freshwater mussel is a very smart creature. Very smart. What I mean by that is, the freshwater mussel, when it's spawning time, when it wants to release its young, it wants to spread its, you know, its baby mussels or clams or whatever. They are. I know they're two different species. So it's either a freshwater clam or a freshwater mussel. Anyway, I'm going to find the link and put it in the bottom of the description box so y'all can click on it and watch it because it's amazing. Well, when it's time for the freshwater mussel, that's what we're going to call it, to spawn its young, what happens is... The mussel has to get somebody, another fish, to, to do her bidding for her because mussels can't swim. So they can't go and lay their young or spew their young somewhere. They have to have a clever device to get, you know, to get the babies out. Because she just can't spew them out somewhere because the other fish will eat them and all that. So she's got to think of a clever way to get them out so they can live and grow up to be big freshwater mussels. So what she does is, when it's time for her to, to get, you know, to give birth to her babies, what she does is, she opens up her shell, and she's blind. Mussels, of course, we know they don't have eyes, but being blind, she opens up her shell enough to where she sticks her tongue out, okay? Now, let me tell you about the tongue. The tongue actually mimics, um, I think they're called shiners, mimics, mimics a minnow that the bass, that the freshwater bass love. Now remember, the mussel has never seen the minnows or the little fish that the freshwater bass eat. But its tongue looks just like it. And it's got the eye on it, look like, you know, design stuff, look like it's got eyes. And what it does is it puts its tongue out and it flicks his tongue to make it look like there's a little minnow nibbling on whatever's on the inside of the freshwater mussel. So it's just dark. It just flick his little tongue, make it look like, oh, the little minnow hurt, the little minnow hurt. And then the bass, you know, bass like things that are moving. They like things that move and they like things that flick and then they they want it, okay? So. So while they flick it, while the tongue, I'm sorry, we're looking at the accent. So while it's flicking around, the bass is looking like, yeah, I see the little minnow got his back turned to me. I'm going to get over there. I'm going to get over there, and I'm going to sneak up on the minnow, and I'm going to swallow him whole without him thinking. So as the bass come closer, you know, he swim by, like, do 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 And then he swim back by, do 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 and then when he come up, he start easing up on the minnow because he's going to swallow the minnow. He think it's a minnow, but really it's the muscle's tongue. And the muscle just flicking his tongue back and forth, just flicking it. So right when the bass get close enough or touch touch the tail end of what he think is the minnow, I think it's a shiner, I'm not really sure. Touch the end of the fish, which is really the muscle's tongue, then the muscle shoots off a uh, cloud of a uh, cloud of um it looks like sperm but it's not sperm it's a bunch of baby muscles but they're microscopic so they just look like a cloud of white smoke just poof, but it's not smoke because it's in the water all right so what happens is 
she because he come over there with his mouth open. And then she shoot it off in his mouth. Now the little microscopic baby muscles, they go inside the fish mouth, clamp onto his gills, and then the, the bass is like, oh shit, what happened? But then the bass went away with what he got in his mouth. But he don't know that she planted her freshwater mussels in his mouth and they clung onto his gills. They'll stay on his gills, clamped onto his gills and feeding off of his blood supply until they get big enough, strong enough to fall off all in the rocks and stuff. And then they grow and they live. The cycle starts over again. So the freshwater mussel lures the big bass over to her shell by pretending to be a minnow with her tongue and then when the bass come close enough after swimming back and forth getting closer 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 come come over there think he gonna eat a minnow and run off with it she shoots off her young in his face they go in his mouth got a mouth open go in his mouth and his gills open and then they go in and they clamp onto his gills and then he swim off thinking he got something thinking he got something you know so he swim off then they feed off of him and then they drop off later somewhere else in the lake and then they live they thrive okay the video is amazing now the lesson we learn today children is how I equate this to life you know you got that friend that always ear hustling remember I told you the bass swim back around do -do -do -do, swim back around well the muscle made it look like the muscle and a minnow were gossiping because remember, I told you that the tongue was just flapping, and it made it look like it was a minnow over there talking to the clam. All right, meaning the, meaning the muscle. So now, the bass swimming back, ear hustling. That's your co-worker. That'd be ear hustling, want to ride, you know, walk by, and oh, you know, always reaching for the coffee cup, or coming back, walking back and forth past your cue, because they see you and your friend talking, but they're really trying to pick up something. Now, let me tell you about the clever muscle, though. I'm sorry, y'all. Tell you about the clever muscle, though. The muscle actually use the bass to further its purpose. Sometimes when people gossiping, they talking just loud enough so your ass can hear so you can take it back to further their purpose. They want to tell the boss man off? They ain't got to tell him. All they got to do is tell your ass because you can't hold water and you're going to take it right to somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. So the boss will never know it came from you because the story didn't twist the chain so much, but we know the meaning has been implied. The boss find out what people think of them. All right, so you think you spreading gossip and rumors. But really, all they did was use you to further their purpose. You don't even know it. Trying to ear hustle, trying to listen to gossip, trying to... My grandma used to say, a dog got to bring a bone to take a bone. I'm from the country. We had our little saying. A dog that will bring a bone will take a bone. Mm-hmm. You don't even know your crazy ass. You think you're getting away with some juicy gossip in your mouth. Keep your mouth shut. The bass should have kept his mouth shut. And he wouldn't have had clam muscle eggs all in his on his gills and dirt and grimy and, and those things. Don't even know. Stupid ass been used. Been used to further the muscle's purpose. All right. Don't let nobody use you. Don't let, you know what? If you do hear a piece of, you get hustled on something. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Don't let nobody else use you. Keep it to yourself. All right, so that was the lesson today, children. Stop ear hustling and spreading gossip. Furthering other people's purpose. You don't even know crazy ass.